Hi, my name is Jessica Hines and you can see me on Renaissance Foundation. Thanks for making time to talk to us. I want to jump straight in and ask you about your inspiration. Like you've had an amazing career, and something must have inspired you. Did you know you were going to go into film and TV? Um, I felt like I wanted to. I, you know, I think um, I, I watched TV when I was younger, and I found it. Um, I enjoyed watching things, and I had a, quite an intense sort of um, inner world. I think as a child, I was say that um, I like to play very intense, I like to imagine very intensively. I found that imagining uh, and, and playing was a, was a way of escaping, it was a way of um, creating, it was a way of, of, of being. In fact, I, you know, I, my best memories are being in the park and being with friends and just being on some sort of incredible fantasy journey of play, you know, that, that, that where, you know, you could just go anywhere and be anywhere, you, you either you were spies trying to walk along a wall or you were you know like and th those were the things that really shaped my childhood experience and and I suppose in a way I've just tried to recreate that as an adult and create the most intensive situations of play that I can and I and it feels natural to do that as a as a as a as a, a sort of as a writer and 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 as a performer and now as a director you're basically creating sort of fantasy worlds or a world of unreality in which you can exist was there anyone a specific person that kind of inspired you on that career, even if it was a family member or just had, someone you looked up to? Yeah, I had some good teachers. I had um, a really a great teacher called Jenny Lee Worthy, who 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 I who I um, who supported me and helped me. Um, uh, I came across her because I went to I met a friend at secondary school, and we used to muck around in the playground, doing funny voices and being in character. I was in character a lot. I was a strange child. Um, and then and she said, oh, you should come do this drama class. So I thought, okay, great. So I went along. It was a pound to get in. I had to get the bus from Kemp Town down to home. So that's where it was. I started going every week from about the age of 11 to go, <clears throat> go to this drama group. And the woman who ran it said, you know, I will, I'll help you, you know, and gave me lessons and taught me Shakespeare speeches and then said I should audition for the National Youth Theatre. So it's people like that really you change the course of your life because they believe in, 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 in you or they see something in you and then and then they and they and they and they tell you they see something in you and it changes the way you see yourself. Um, so she was one and then um, there was um, oh, a teacher called I get really emotional. I'm very emotional. It's, I'm not sad, I'm just an emotional person and I always have been. My kids think I'm crazy. But um, anyway, so there was um, there was another teacher called Pat Holford, who, who was who I knew at, um, at primary school, who used to write these crazy plays that I do, and she thought I had a natural skill of performing, and I loved it. And she also was extremely supportive. And she said something to me which really steered me towards acting, really, which was um, you know it, it was very powerful. And I, I think she must have known how powerful it was for her to say this to me. But um, I was just, you know, I was just a kid in her class. But she said that I, she said I've been teaching for twenty years. I said there's been four children that I've had through all of my classrooms in twenty years who I thought could could be actors. She said, and you're one of them. And and obviously I remember it. And it was like, wow, you know, I was just like, wow. And in my head I just thought, okay, well I'm looking for, I'm looking for something to do. I'm looking for, <laughs> I'm looking for a way forward. I'm looking for a life. So I, I thought that that's what I'll do. You know, and I will, I will keep that. I will hold that, and I'll just kind of keep believing that that's true. <laughs> I would choose to believe that's true, <laughs> and um, and they just kind of kept on moving towards that goal. You know, just just believing that it could happen, and that and that if I if I made the most of all, any any opportunities that came my way, that I would do it, whatever it was. So I was having this conversation recently about um, you know. Uh, just not even just in acting you know I would do things like so a friend of mine who was doing stage management course I was in, I was kind of working in restaurants trying to audition trying to be an actor um, just paying the rent and having a full-time job so working six six seven shifts a week and just trying to keep going um, and she was like I'm doing a stage management course we're doing a taking a play a little mama's play down to St. Ives we, we want someone to do costume I was like I'll do it I'll do it 
you know like I do anything anything related to it I, I will do it I will help I will take part I will be part of it and just just try and try and as best as I could you know throw myself at, at chances and um, just stay positive and that sort of you know what I, I think is vital you know like you, you know you you, you know it, it's it's about it's about um, uh, and often that's easy when you're serving other people interestingly when it's for yourself it's harder you know, it's like when someone says, oh, can you help me? You go, oh, yeah, okay, I'll do your thing. But then when it comes to your things and yourself, you, you, you put less energy, you put less focus. So I think a lot of the things and, that happen for always like, well, I'll do that for you. I'll do that for you. I'll do that for you. You know, um, but, uh, but actually when you, when you think about your own dreams and your own goals, it, 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 it's, it's less easy to do somehow. So a lot of the things I ended up doing would be, you know, for other people. But um uh, someone said it, it, it's, it's easy, particularly as you start to, to work more and more, people appropriate you. But they go, I know what you'd be good to do for me. And so they, they say, I know what you can do for me. And I would be so grateful that anyone would want me to do anything for them. That I would always go, okay, yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and actually I think the shift in me in, 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 in recently is, is happening that that's all well and good and it's lovely to be asked. But it's also totally valid and important to go, okay, so that's great for other people to ask me to do things for them. What can I do for me? What can I do for me? You know, what do I want me to do? You know, and, and, and when you start asking yourself that question, it, it kind of, it, it's a really, things really start to change because you start to sort of uh, um, begin to understand that you are going to guide yourself forward. Most people will only say, okay, well, I know what you can do for me, but they're not necessarily thinking about you. And, and, and when you start to, to, to evolve that sense of self, you start to evolve that sense that you are effectively going to be that voice for yourself because no one else will be, it changes the direction that you take and it changes how you move forward. That, that's absolutely incredible advice because we've got young people who do have to look after family members, who do have to take on responsibility and look after others who aren't used to putting themselves yeah. first or, or putting that same light on themselves. Yeah. So I really appreciate you saying that yeah. to them to help it's, build their it's, it's a really hard thing to do because it feels counter to all your instincts and intuition. You feel like that's not, it's not even possible. Like, am I allowed? Am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to do that thing I want to do? And um, the answer is, you absolutely are allowed. You give yourself permission and you are allowed. And actually, the best gift in general you can ever give anyone, particularly anyone who loves you, is your own happiness. Your happiness is the best gift you can give the world. It's the best gift you can give anyone who loves you. And it's the best gift you can give yourself. It's your own happiness and fulfillment. So when you pursue it and you fight for it and you make it happen, the world is a better place. You are better. Everybody around you is better. So that's why you do it. You, 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 that's why you do it and you must always do it and, 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 and learn and think about how you can you know that's it that's absolutely incredible <laughs> I'd, honestly I'd love to talk to you for so much longer <laughs> but I know you're on a really tight schedule you've got no. your is it the premiere yes tonight, tonight.